Howdy, howdy, guys, and welcome. Uh, we're moving on to our new unit. This unit's going to be all about the United States as well as Canada. So there should be some information in here that you already know. Um, there's definitely going to be some new material. I hope you learn more about your country and you're excited to potentially go out one day and to see certain parts of the United States. All right, so connecting to your world, what activities do you like to do outside? A lot of you, I'm sure, like to skateboard, you like to bike. Um, maybe you've gone surfing before or snorkeling in Hawaii or skiing or snowboarding in Colorado, um, hiking in the mountains. There's so many fun activities to do here in America. Um, we have such a diverse landscape, whether you're talking about the Grand Canyon, uh, the Rocky Mountains, you have the beautiful beaches all around us on the coasts. There's all sorts of different things to see and explore here in America. So we, we're going to break up the United States into regions. Uh, there's a couple big regions. There's the Northeast, the South, the West, and the Midwest. So there's about four. Okay, um, And you can break those up uh, even more if you really want to. But we live in the Midwest. Um, and we are united by uh, our climate. We're united by the plants and the animals uh, that live here. Uh, the life here in Kansas City is very similar to the life you might experience in St. Louis or parts of Illinois. It's going to be incredibly different from life in potentially New York or Maryland or maybe even Florida, right? They're going to have a different climate. They'll even have different animals. Um, they may even talk in a different accent, right? You think about people down south, a lot of them have a southern accent, um, whereas People in the Northeast, depending on where you're at, they have an accent too. So the United States has four regions, and these four regions are defined by all sorts of different things, whether it's climate, plants, animals, um, maybe even food, right? We could get into that. All right, so we're going to start off talking about the Northeast. This includes Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Okay, the two most important features are the Atlantic Ocean and the Appalachian Mountains. The Appalachian Mountains are not that large. They are considered mountains. Um, depending on where you're at, they hit 6,000 feet. So 6,000 feet, to put that in perspective, is only about 5,000 feet higher than where we are at. We're at about 1,000 feet above sea level. So as you go up in altitude, you will experience uh, you're going to have less oxygen. It's going to be harder to breathe. Um, just certain things like that. But is it anywhere comparable to the Rocky Mountains out west? No. Out west, you're going to have mountains upwards of 14,000 feet. So very different. All right. Uh, here is the Atlantic Ocean. Absolutely beautiful, right? Uh, if you've never been to the ocean, hopefully you get the opportunity one day. It is a sight to behold. All right, northeast landforms and climate and vegetation. The terrain is too hilly and rocky to make for good farmland. Are there pockets where you'll get farmland in Pennsylvania? Yes, um, but for the most part it is too hilly and too rocky to be very good farmland like we have out here in the Midwest. Summers are warm and humid and winters are snowy and cold. Uh, it's very comparable to Kansas City except it gets even colder and they probably get more snow than we do. Uh, fishing and shipping are incredibly profitable and useful there because they're on the Atlantic. Um, mostly, it is the most densely populated region in the United States, and you have to think about where people started settling when they came to the United States. Um, people, they started showing up from England or, or Spain or Italy or Ireland, wherever they were coming, they were typically showing up around New York or Pennsylvania, and they would stay, have a family, and their families would stay in that similar area. So to this day, it is still one of the most populated regions in America. All right, New York is obviously the largest city in our country. Um, it is located in New York. Uh, here's a picture of some of that skyline you might find out in New York. Um, very busy, very populated, uh, crammed, tight spaces, uh, millions of people living in a very small, uh, compact area. All right, so the Midwest, that's where we are at. Uh, this area stretches from Ohio to the Dakotas, 
um, to the bottom edge of Canada, um, all the way to Kansas. So the Midwest. The Great Lakes make up the world's largest group of freshwater lakes. Uh, there are five, Superior, Huron, Ontario, Michigan, and Erie. Uh, we will be learning that later on. The Mississippi River is the most important trade waterway in the United States. It uh, runs along Missouri. Um, the Missouri River actually flows into the Mississippi River. Uh, the climate here in the Midwest, it's typically a hot summer, cold winter, similar to the Northeast. We also have the Great Plains here. Um, so we have stretches of land where it's incredibly flat and it is useful for farmland because it's not super rocky. We also have Mount Rushmore here in South Dakota. I was actually just there a few months ago. Uh, this part of it was closed off, but uh, it's located in the Black Hills in South Dakota. Um, outside of that, the rest of South Dakota is incredibly flat. So this, these are the only real mountainous things you may find in South Dakota. The Midwest continued, all right, so it is a huge farming region in the United States. We produce here corn, wheat, dairy. Um, you also have large manufacturing for automobiles, perhaps, such as in Detroit. Um, the largest city is Chicago, located in Illinois. Um, Kansas City is pretty big, but it is not the largest. Chicago definitely has us beat. Um, Chicago has much harsher winters than we do. It gets a lot colder there and they get a lot more snow there. There's a picture of Chicago. You have the famous Sears Tower there. Um, at one point, I believe it was the tallest building in the world. Um, they're located on one of the Great Lakes. Um, and because of that, uh, they get all this wind that's constantly blowing in and Chicago is known as the Windy City. Um, you can get some incredible food there, whether it's deep dish pizza or hot dogs. Here you go, here's Chicago. Beautiful city, I used to live here for a few years when I was about your age. Um, <clears throat> really cool city. Not as big as New York, not as big. All right, then we get the south. It stretches from the Atlantic Ocean all the way to Texas. It contains 16 states and you can see it here. All right, some landforms and climate we might get there. The south share two features with other regions, the Appalachians, they share that with the Northeast, um, and the Mississippi River. Um, the Apple, excuse me, the Appalachians down here get a little bit smaller. They end in Georgia. Okay, most of the South has very hot and rainy summers and mild winters. They typically aren't getting snow at all. It's very rare you get snow down in the South. Um, when I say hot summers, we're talking about humid uh, as well as temperatures in the hundreds. Uh, Florida is home of the Everglades. Um, it's this wetland filled with grass, uh, mango trees, alligators. Imagine a swamp, okay? Um, and that's what the Everglades is. Uh, here we have, I believe, uh, Panama City, at, or uh, yeah, or Destin, Florida. Beautiful stretch of uh, land in Florida. You also get that's an image of New Orleans. The South was the first <clears throat> was a first farming region. Uh, they quickly changed. Um, the South now has many booming cities. Unfortunately, they have been plagued by natural disasters, mainly in the form of hurricanes. Um, in 2005, you have Hurricane Katrina that came through. It broke the levees. Um, the levees were these big dams holding back water, essentially, and when those broke, all this water flooded into uh, New Orleans. It was this terrible uh, event that happened, um, I guess, 15 years ago. All right, this is, where are we at right now? This looks like we're in Destin or Panama City Beach, somewhere in Florida here. Um, so this gives you an idea of what the Gulf of Mexico looks like, beautiful white beaches, this crystal clear water. Um, it's a pretty sight to behold. All right, now we get to the west. <clears throat> Includes all of the states from the Great Plains, um, to not all the states in the Great Plains, but from the Great Plains all the way to the Pacific. It also includes Alaska and Hawaii. Uh, you have the Rocky Mountains out here. You also have the Grand Canyon. Um, we have different plants, animals. Much of the region is dry. It is mainly a desert. 
Uh, ranching as well as mining, digging for gold, for example, <clears throat> are some of the biggest uh, industries of the region. All right, so there we have California, one of the most densely populated states. Here we have the Grand Canyon, uh, absolutely beautiful. Um, if you've never been, you got to go. It's worth seeing. Uh, if you hike down into it, be careful. It is a pretty serious hike. All right, and that's it. I hope you guys learned something. That's mainly the United States. We're going to stop there. All right, have a good day.